Today, we are reacting to the Godzilla suit incident. I have no idea what this is about, but huge shout outs to my friend Dark Corners for telling me about these analog horror videos created by this channel called Unknowingly. I will leave all the links down below if you guys want to go check this out yourself, but it seems like it's really popular. I've never watched an analog horror style horror film or scary video before, so if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys leave a like. But let's go ahead and get started. This is the Godzilla suit incident 1954 godzilla analog horror still i have no idea what we're watching but we're about to find out is that godzilla i can kind of see the print of godzilla right there you know you don't realize how giant godzilla is until he gets closer to the buildings he makes the buildings look tiny in a city okay i don't know what's going on over here i mean i guess this was created in 1954 right or to emulate that style so you're not really gonna see much we're hearing some sort of music Okay. Am I missing something here? The person in the Gojira suit was unknown at the time. Like the actor, right? Like the actor. But the story the actor has with Gojira is odd. Wait, what? This is a photo of him in the, in the suit. All right. So I'm guessing this is something that happened behind the scenes of, you know, when they were filming the movie. Here's another picture. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, it does look like Godzilla suit, right? He got the acting job of being and wearing the Gorgira suit. Gorgira. Okay. And the actor fell in love with it. All right. Nothing wrong with someone falling in love with the role they're given. He would wear the suit most of the time to the point that you never saw his actual face. A Toho producer. Um, okay. That's a little too extra if you ask me. Even when we take breaks, he would just wear the suit. The suit would sometimes heat up, but he didn't care. Actor on set. Yo, this is more funny than a horror film, don't you guys think? Unless something went crazy. It was like if he was addicted to the suit. Like, if it's calling his name. It has gone to the point where he brings a suit home even though we tell him not to. Co-director. Alright, now that's a little weird. He wouldn't really speak a lot, but he would say that his name is Goji. Basically, the nickname we gave to the suit. Okay, he's a little too extra. The last time we s he was seen on set, he was acting in the suit until he just stopped. This is the photo that was taken. What? What do you mean he just stopped? Several minutes later, he would just walk and stop yet again. His breathing was muffled yet. He was also breathing oddly. Was he about to have a heart attack or something? Like, you guys should probably check up on him. The director thought this was a joke, poking at him to get back in place, but he wouldn't budge. Hey, hold up. Yo, maybe the suit is cursed. Maybe he was trying to get help this entire time. After two minutes of oddly breathing, he would tell people to check on him and to make sure he takes off the suit. This was the photo someone took before the person on the right saw what was inside. Yo, I'm getting creepy vibes right now. What? Well, what's inside? I don't know if I want to know. The man opened the costume to see that he was growing into the suit. His flesh would slowly rip away as he tried to open the pocket where actors would enter the suit. What? Oh my gosh. No wonder he couldn't take it off. Either he did this on his own will or the suit was now his skin. So basically he turned into Godzilla. That is wild. What the heck? Is there more? There's gotta be more, right? Somehow his body deformed to the point he was filling the inside of the suit. Okay. This is literally not what I was expecting when I first started this video. This is what they expected. So you're telling me inside his body, that's what he looked like? Okay, person was inside. Basically started to mold into the suit. The body started molding into the suit. This is what they found. Yo! It's about to fill up, huh? Yo, please don't tell me there's a jump scare. Are you gonna show me? Oh my gosh! Oh, that is creepy. That is actually so creepy. Literally, his body deformed to the shape of the suit. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's watch a few more. So this is 1962 Godzilla Encounter. Hey, like I said, if you guys want to see more in the future, let me know. But this is crazy. It's catastrophic. The titanic terrifying battle between the mightiest monsters of all time. King Kong versus Godzilla. Dang, this rivalry has been going on for ages. Since the 60s, guys? That is crazy. All right, the Godzilla suit encounter was pretty scary, but let's see what this is about. King Kong. What, did someone also deform into the God, uh, King Kong suit? Um, I think the film is glitching out right now can someone fix this please oh god king kong versus godzilla in color this is like the flyer for the movie back then wait 
What did it say just now? It said something for a split second. Hopefully, oh, come on. Oh, okay, it's in Japanese. I, I wouldn't be able to read that anyways. It seems like other people paused it at the same spot too. With the man in the suit being the only Godzilla suit at the time, they used him for the next film. So basically, he was a real Godzilla. Okay, so this is a continuation. With King Kong being an American film, the man in the suit wasn't having it. Wait, what? What do you mean he wasn't having it? This is where I come in. Whoa, so this was... Wait, hold up. I will be hiding my eyes and my name for me and my family's safety. So the person making this film right here i was put into the job of being the cameraman they told me what happened before and told me to stay quiet about it or i would be arrested so he's letting out all the dirty laundry right now but the truth needs to come out somehow this might be the first time we've ever we're ever hearing of this the man in the suit wasn't happy making a movie with americans yo what's he about to do man toho producers forced him to look more appealing to a younger audience he wasn't happy with how this all played out he had a very bad dislikes towards the actors in the King Kong suit, Shoichi Hirose. He either thought Shoichi Hirose was a traitor for portraying an American monster or saw something in him. We knew that he wasn't a big fan of the Americans. He would roar at them and try to attack them. We treated him like a lion in, at the zoo. Jeez, man. That's some next level hatred right there. We had to film one more scene. I was instructed to, to not stop filming. The script was... For after destroying the big building, he would act to use his atomic ray breath on him. It did not go as planned. What happened? Please don't be another jump scare. I don't know what's about to happen. Okay. So let's see. Is he going to use the atomic ray on? Oh, he used his tail. What's about to happen? So they're fighting and everything. Boom. Falls to the ground. <laughs> Yo, King Kong actually going crazy on him right now. All right. He's using the atomic ray. Okay. He's using the ray breath on him. Oh, not the building. Yo, yo. Dang, they're tearing that thing apart. Sheesh. Yo, are they fighting each other or are they just are they just taking down a building? They're just ruining this building. This perfectly built Japanese building. All right. Oh. Oh. What just happened? What? The man in the suit would push Shoichi Hiroshi off a cliff, and I had to record it all. So this wasn't part of the plan. It wasn't part of the script. There was a struggle into the water, splashing as one of them frantically tried to get out of the other's grasp. Are you telling me King Kong drowned or something? Only one of them rose from the water, and it was Godzilla, wasn't it? Oh, of course. And they filmed it all. They had it. They captured it all on film. Shoichi Hiroshi, man. I don't think uh, I was sick to my stomach not wanting to know what had happened to Shoichi Hirose. I, I got my other camera and ran. I tried to leave the long corridors of this Toho studio wanting to take a quick breath of fresh air, but I heard screams from the room I had left. Yo, the power went out. I want to make a joke so bad, guys. I used to the flash of my camera trying to look around, frantically trying to find an exit. I heard someone's footsteps walking through the... It wasn't an employee. Yo, was it Godzilla? Oh gosh, there's, it was the man in the suit. He took a picture of him, didn't he? Oh god, there's about to be a jump scare. Oh my gosh, dude, he looks like a FNAF character right now. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Is there more footage? Okay, I think that's it. All right, that is creepy, guys. That is creepy. Yo, I wanted to make a joke so bad right here. Only one of them rose from the water. For someone whose name is Shoichi, he rose. He did not rose. Or he did not rise. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm done, I'm done. This next one is called Depiction of Growth, also in 1962. Dude, at this point, why don't you guys just stop the production? I was startled by the first encounter of the man in the suit. It made me more curious curious than ever. It might harm me of doing this, but I need answers. So I've gone to one of my friends who was smart with this stuff. I won't name her, so I'll call her Elisa. I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she would still- What? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm trying to read as fast as I can. Uh, teaching her class, but she would still call me because of how curious she was. She'd never seen anything like this. I recorded the section of the call. All right, let's hear it out. The thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. This is something else. What is it? God, this is the work of radiation. Holy, holy shit. The man in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. Took a while. The body explodes in the suit, then it reshapes itself in the suit. Ew, what? How do I explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut. Okay. Without the cream, it's mostly a flat donut. All right. That was the suit before, but because of the filling, the man 
it basically Interesting. filled up all the space. Interesting story the you've got there. Donut <laughs> so the you're killing she's calling this man a cream filled donut. Barrier, so they don't mix. The man in the suit, however, his skin, his flesh, his bones. It's fusing with the suit. That's crazy. Teeth would be the suits. Whatever he took. He became a monster. It's mutating him. It's making him more like a creature than a human. Soon he will have animalistic properties. So you're telling me like he he actually became effective. the real Godzilla. Able to control his tail. You said his eyes could move and that they are bloodshot. But in this photo, his eyes flashed back. Human eyes don't do that. Yeah, he's not human no more. Put him down. If not, it is probably too late for mankind. What do you mean? He, he's the size of a human being. She said something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. But it's not like he's going to grow like 100 feet tall like the real Godzilla from the movie, right? I question what he would look like when he is fully mutated. She corrected me. There is no stopping point for the mutation. She then told me to go to an artist and gave me... Wait, to go to, go to an artist and gave me a description that I sadly forgot now. What are those noises in the background? Kind of creeping me out right now. I told them to make the art and they complied. My Japanese would be a bit rusty because I thought I asked for one drawing, but I got three. Here are the drawings. It's about to be another jump scare. Okay, that's drawing number one of what it would eventually become. <laughs> this one kind of looks cute. Number three. Oh, that one looks wild. That one's kind of like a more accurate description of Godzilla. What's going on in the background? Like, I'm trying to figure out what they're saying, but I can't understand it. They say anything? Someone may have already said this, but finding out that he exploded in the suit and then it reshaped to the body, uh, to the suit jogged my memory. In the first tape, it said he stopped for several minutes and perhaps that was when his body exploded. And during the time he was reshaped. You know what? That, that might've been where it happened, but it happened so fast then basically. Wait, if he keeps mutating, doesn't that mean he's basically another version of Shin Godzilla? Pretty much, who knows? Maybe he'll grow to the size of an elephant as well to Mok- See, now that is what I'm worried about. I was like, you know what? He's just gonna stay, stay the same size, but to turn into the size of Godzilla, I'm good, bro, I'm good. So this next episode is in Japanese. I actually Google translated it, and it basically means suit trial. Sutsu no turairu. So let's go ahead and check it out, 1958. So we're going back in time now, even though this was released a little bit after. This will be the last one we check out, but if you guys wanna see more, let me know down below. You guys gotta leave a like on this video right now. I snuck around the Toho building, wait, what? A day after the encounter with the man in the suit, I found a tape labeled suit trial, or no, this is something else. I don't know what that means. I realized this was some years after the angurious incident. What is the angurious incident? Let me just show it. Wait, what? Whoa. So we're actually getting a sneak peek of what they saw. What the heck is going on? We are finally aware of the situation we are in. We will do our best to a document. I don't know what it says. There's no captions either. Oh, dang it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. We will try and let's start with this is in the best quality possible too. 480p. That's okay. Night vision. Something about night vision. If only I could read this. Hopefully we see some footage explaining what's going on. Ooh, that's the tale of Godzilla. What's that noise? Literally 30 seconds of looking at Godzilla's tail, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking at right now. Am I missing something? It's literally... Wait, what? It's all audio, basically. The most replayed is right here. Bunch of screaming. Skin. 
Oh my gosh, dude, that's Godzilla looking straight at the camera. Wait, hold on. The man in the suit. The captions is in the description. We are fully aware of the situation we were in. We will do our best to test what threw me to here so they can train him. We will try and do some audio tests. Let's start with the man in the suit. If you have him in a cell, make sure he is in there until you can train him. He destroyed the light and only the darkness, but that's okay. We have a light. And turns out something went wrong. Apparently, like from what we heard. And in the end... We saw it looking straight at the camera. All right, you know what? Let's just keep going. This next one is mailed message, 1962. I was mailed this tape. This was the same year as the uh, King Kong versus Godzilla suit incident. I don't think someone in this Toho studio made this. You don't understand. Wait, what? You killed my family. You Americans cheered when we lost. We lost our homes. You guys think this was written by we lost our families. Who could it be? Like who could have made this? You nuked us. I mean, I guess this is where like the hatred sounds from. The nuke took my wife. This is someone's like personal story. The nuke took my kids. Hiroshima was our home. I left for a business trip, and then he came back to see his family was gone. You took everything from me. So I decided to return peace by getting rid of the people who wronged us. Hmm? We got a picture of Godzilla. That is what- Oh! I- I kind of spoiled my- I kind of spoiled myself there. Godzilla's not happy. Godzilla is not happy. Wait, maybe- I don't know, guys. This is my theory. Whoever wrote this message, right, is the cause of the Godzilla suit incident. Like, they caused this radiation to happen. Or- it could have been the man in the suit himself. This is actually terrifying. He was so upset that he willingly took a drug and is turning into Godzilla himself just to take revenge. That's dedication, even though he's probably not himself anymore. He also me melded into the suit because of the radiation. I don't know, guys. Do you guys think it was the guy in the suit? Oh, you know what? It kind of makes sense because he does hate Americans. So I don't know. It could, it, it really could be the guy in the suit. This is crazy, guys. There's so much to think about. This is such a dark, and terrifying story but if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future you guys let me know leave a like on this video this was not what i was expecting when i first started this video but anyways guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace